hello guys welcome back so now in this video we are going to implement the backend for sign up that is to allow a user to register so for that purpose uh, in our api cloud store which is our api directory first we will create a new folder so this icon which you can see okay folder and this plus okay this is a icon for creating a new folder or you can say a new directory so just click here on this icon and let's create a new folder by the name user press enter so our new folder users has been created for example if I show you then you will see it. that is in our XAMPP H2 docs inside the API cloud store here you can see the user folder has been created successfully then inside this user okay inside this user make sure that you click on it okay just like this now inside this user folder we are going to create a new .php file uh, where we will implement the backend for sign up user so select this that is click on this user okay just like this and then click this i this icon button okay which is for creating a new file so it will create a new file inside the user folder and the file name will be sign up dot php just like this and press enter so now inside the user folder we have sign up dot php as you can see here okay inside the user folder we have our signup.php file let me show it to you also in the api cloud store folder okay you can see the user folder and inside the user folder we have our signup.php file so anyways in here let's implement the php backend for signup user so first of all here we will make sure that a connection is established with the mysql server so we have to basically uh, access our this connection.php file here we have to include that here first it will check that the connection is established successfully so inside the single quotes you can simply write here dot dot slash connection.php it also it already show you this uh, suggestion connection.php if you are using the uh, visual studio code now this uh, dot dot slash simply means that in our api cloud store folder okay that is currently you know that we are on the signup.php file and this signup.php file is inside the folder user so it simply means that back okay that is outside the user folder we have a file connection.php so i hope you understand this okay this dot dot slash simply means backward that is back inside the api cloud store that is outside the user folder okay we are on the signup.php file so we first say that outside the folder user we have a file by the name connection.php so we include that connection you already know that this is a connection okay which that is which will check that is it is uh, connected to the mysql server or you can say to the mysql database so anyways now here we have to first check that is whenever a new user register for the first time then all new user records and information or you can say the new users data we will save to our users table if i show you the structure of it then it has basically three columns to which we will save for example the first column is the user name the second one is user email and the third one is the user password and of course we have this fourth column which is user id but it will auto increment okay that is a unique id will be assigned to each and every user which will be non repeatable that is which will not duplicate with other user uh, ids okay each and every user will have their own unique id so anyways uh, this same information okay to the name email and password that is when the user in the flutter application the user fill up the sign up form the user provide the user name email and password and then click on the sign up button then we will tag that name email and password and we will save it to our users table okay so that backend we are implementing here on our sign up.php file so for that purpose uh, first of all remember let me write here a comment that is when we want to send some data to the mysql database okay or you can say to the mysql server send or you can say save some data then that is called post 
and when we want to uh, receive something from the MySQL database or you can say MySQL server when we want to get or retrieve something from the database then for that purpose we so let me write here post is basically when we uh, send or you can say uh, that is save data send or save data to MySQL database and get is when we want to uh, retrieve retrieve or you can say read data from my sql db database so in the current scenario as you know uh, we are sending data that is we are saving data to the mysql database that is the new user record the new user information we are saying to the mysql database inside the table which is user table so we will use post so now we can simply say dollar underscore post and inside the single quotes uh, we can say user underscore name now this username we will receive from the flutter application okay which the user will fill in the text field of username okay the user will write username let's say John so that John uh, we are getting from there okay and we will assign it to a variable let's say uh, give it name as username so we assign that username which is coming from the flutter application okay from the text field of username which we will pass of course okay first we are implementing the backend and then in the next video we will from the flutter application we will access our this signup.php file and that is after clicking on the sign up button in the flutter application when the user click on the sign up button then the name will get uh, that is th that name will come from there okay and once it's come we assign it to our username variable similarly for the other one which is basically the user email we can say user email and then we have the password so we can say user underscore password user password so that username we assign to this username PHP variable and that user email which is coming from the flutter text field we assign that user email to this user email and this user password we assign to our user password PHP variable now once we have the username user email and user password which the user write uh, in the flutter application sign up page okay in the for example the username text field okay whatever let's say John so let's say here is now John John email is let's say John at the red gmail.com and then let's say John password is ABC one two three four five six anything okay so that password is now inside this user password variable then one more thing is if you want to uh, make the password secure that is let's say converted to binary or you know to make it secure so for that purpose uh, we can in PHP language we have a default uh, function you can say which is basically MD5 which will convert the password to binary that is it will make the password secure so that uh, no one can steal your account okay it will be saved in the database in binary format that is non readable okay so basically this will convert your password to binary that is to secure form let's say for example if your password is abc123456 okay so this this is your original password okay and this md5 built in php function it will convert your password to binary like for example let's say something like this okay so that no one can steal your account and then on the login page let's say when we implement the login we will uh, convert back this from the binary to your original password during login okay just to make it secure so I hope you understand this this is just to let you know that MD5 will convert your password to binary in order to make it secure so anyways now we have to write our query we can uh, initialize here a variable which will be SQL query and to this variable in here that is we will implement our query so now 
we are going to save this information as I told you to our table users table so we can say that insert use the same keywords okay this is the SQL query exert keywords when you want to save something to the SQL database you use insert into insert into and our table name our table name is users underscore table so we can say users underscore table okay exact same keyword you have to type okay so it is users underscore table this is our table name so we want to save that is inside our users table insert the information and we will set that is our column okay our first column is for the name okay so first column name is user underscore name so we can say set user underscore name which is our column our first column inside the user name column save the name which is put single quotes okay put single quotes inside the single quotes we will pass our variable which is username this one okay so inside the username column save the username then comma we have another column which is for sending the user email so user underscore email so we can simply say that user underscore email equals to put single quotes just like this and then inside the single quotes we can pass our user email variable which contains the user email let's say john at the red gmail dot com comma then the last one is the user password column to which we will save our password to which we will assign our password so we can say user underscore password and assign to it the user password just like this so let me explain this query to you what we did is basically as you know that for maintaining uh, the user records we have created a users underscore table inside the SQL database okay my SQL database users underscore table and it has some columns for example username user email user password so we said that insert into this table which is user underscore table set inside the user column user underscore name column save the user name and inside the user email column save the user email and inside the user password column save the user password so now we will run our this query so how we can run this query first we can say query and inside this query we have to pass our this SQL query okay dollar query as you know we have assigned our this whole query to this variable which is SQL query so we say query SQL query now in order to run it we will run it with the help of our uh, connection that is connect now so we can say uh, dollar connect now let's run this query okay connect now that is run this query and the response of it we will assign to a variable result of query or you can say response of query so the response will be let's say if it is saved successfully then there will be some result that is data saved successfully and let's say if there is any error occur then it will the response will be any error you can say message okay so that's why I hope you understand this now now we can simply check that is if the result if dollar result of query which is our variable if result of query is true that is if there is no error and if the information is saved successfully or you can say if the query is run successfully then in that case uh, we can echo echo means simply uh, for example in flutter dot programming language we use print so in PHP we have echo echo is just like a print okay that is when you print something so we say echo JSON encode array 
success use the same keywords please success and this will be success true just like this if the query is run successfully okay this query run successfully means that if the data is saved successfully to the user's table then in that case we echo the array success true json in code else the success will be false success will be false now what this basically means here uh, this success basically th please use the same keyword okay on the basis of this success whose value will be either true or it will be either false on the basis of this true false basically in the flutter application we will display the sign up response to the user that is either your account is created successfully or if there is any error occur then we will display that message now you already know that this if condition that is if result of query is true then it means that the query runs successfully and the account is registered successfully so on the basis of true we will display a message that to the user that is your account has been created successfully okay so when the success has value true otherwise else if the success is false then we will display a toast message in the flutter application to the user that is some error occurred you are not sign up successfully okay that is something which we will implement in the next video for now let's just save all let me give you quickly an overview what we have done here now here uh, first of all we make sure that we have include the connection okay that is connection to the mysql server or mysql database and remember when we want to send or save data to mysql database then we use post so the user in the flutter application okay that is something which you will implement in the next video that is when the user fill up the uh, text field for username user email user password okay in the flutter application we have a text field for getting name password and email from a user and then the user click on the sign up button so that username uh, we are passing from there okay from the flutter application as i told you that is something which we will implement in the next video so that name comes here and we assign that to our username variable then the user email comes from the flutter app and we assign it to this php variable which is user email and then user password comes which we assign to our user password php variable as we have now the username user email and user password which the user write on the sign up page in the text fields okay and then click on the sign up button then that comes here and assigned to these variables username php variable user email php variable user password php variable then as we have the information now of the user who is going to register or sign up for the first time the new user so we have a table inside the mysql database which is this one users table so what we do is we insert a new record into that table okay set set simply means save that is to the user name column user underscore name column we save the username as you know the username is inside this variable dollar username which is php variable so we assign that name let's say the name is john so we assign john that is we save john to username column and then we assign and save the user email let's say john at the red gmail.com we save it to the user underscore email column and then comes the user password uh, which is let's say abc123456 so that password we save to the user underscore password column inside the mysql database table which is users table okay and these are our columns so to each and every column we assign their required value we save to it their required value or data and then we run a query and if the query runs successfully then success will have value true otherwise success if the query do not run successfully then success will have value false